Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to start this video out by giving a shout out to a channel called Thub Print. He kind of inspired me to go ahead and make this video. I'm predominantly a firearm and Second Amendment channel, but I do deal with scrapping brass from my brass shell casings. So naturally, knowing that, I collect brass from the pianos that we take to the dump because a lot of people, they can't sell their pianos. So they hire us to move it out of their house and then pay us to take it to the dump. So I get quite a bit of brass off of old dump pianos. And I figured I would make this video kind of showing how I dump the pianos out of the truck at the dump and then some of the brass parts that I got off the last six pianos that I took to the dump. So I'm going to go ahead and link his channel in the description. Go ahead and give him some love. Subscribe to his channel. Check out his content. He's got great videos. He knows pretty much anything and everything on scrapping and recycling. So check him out. It for the pianos. All right, so this is everything that I got for my trip to the dump today. I got these brass hinges. All these hinges were off of the same upright. There's one on the top of the lid, on the top lid that folds up and down on the top of the upright piano, and then one the key cover. Let's see, I cut it all into sections to make it easier to store. I got this. This is lid prop for the upright, so you can prop that open and it holds it open at an angle like that. So 
and that's pretty solid brass right there and then I got these three caster wheels which feel pretty dense and heavy although these are a little bit of a pain to get off so they come like that and then there is a big pin, steel pin in it with two ball caps on the end. There could be other ways to do this, but I sand it till it's flush with the brass right there. That's why you can see it's kind of scuffed up. And then I take a punch and a hammer and I knock the pin out, allowing the wheel to come free. But then you still got the big steel socket, depending on how they mount this to the upright piano. So I had to actually take and cut that on a bandsaw, cut that off, and then there's another pin in here with another kind of a big ball thing that sticks out about that much. So I had to sand that off as well and hit it out with a punch and hammer. And that's how I get the brass off of the three legs for the grand piano, which those feel like the heaviest besides the hinges that I got right there. And then, of course, got the pedals. Oh, there's some more hinge. Pedals. Also known as liar pedals. So I got one, two, three, four, five. six of those so that's two pianos had brass out of the six that I took and there's another one of those things that holds those brass caster wheels some more hinges and some different hinges these were just single ones not long ones another piece of hinge and then these these are the brass ferrules that wrap around the square. So imagine this is the, the square leg right here, the piano leg, and the outside of it's wood. They take this and they just wrap a thin layer of it around the end of the leg. It was a square. I took it and I stuck it in a vise and I just tightened it down to flatten out to make it easier to transport and take up less space in my containers and whatnot. And then we got a couple more hinges. That's another one of those brass ferrules I was just talking about. And then these were actually from the pedals of the digital grand piano. So instead of it being a brass pedal like this, it was a steel pedal, solid steel, like solid like this brass pedal is. And then they just wrapped it to give it that brass effect. So it was really thin and not really worth your time, but hey, it was there, so I took it. But yeah, that's one of them right there. Also squished in half in the vice grips in the shop. And then, looks like just two more regular small brass hinges. And then we got a couple of decorative pieces right here. Nothing to write home about, but it's a nice, solid, decent, medium-sized piece. And then I separate the smaller parts so I don't lose them, so... What I got here is just like some screws and knobs and stuff. See, stuff like that. More decorative stuff. These knobs were on the key cover. So you pull this to open the keys up. So that's what those were from. And then these were hinge pins for the lid hinges. And then these were just little decorative pieces. And yeah, that's 
all the brass that I got out of those pianos that you saw me throwing out of the back of the truck. And this is the first uh, recycling video that I've made, but I've been doing this for a couple of years now. It started with me doing it uh, from guns going shooting, I would pick up all my brass shells and I would notice all the hundreds and thousands of other brass shells that people would leave behind and I would pick them up and I did that for about a year. Went to the recycler and I made close to $200 so I've just been kind of collecting all the brass that I find here and there and since I'm a piano mover, we take a lot of old pianos to the dump. It's a good opportunity for me to snag up some brass to make a little extra money on the side and selling it to the recycler. So thanks for watching and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I mostly just make firearm content focusing on guns and the second amendment and whatnot but who knows I might be making more recycling and scrapping videos in the near future. So thanks for watching. Have a good night.